Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2010 International 7400 Crew Cab Dump Truck. This truck's got 82,000 original miles. It was a snowplow truck for the state highway. They are the only owner. 82,000 miles on a 7.6 liter Max Force DT Series 466 turbo diesel engine and an Allison automatic transmission. The truck was a plow truck, so it does have some surface rust in some areas, but overall it's clean and presentable inside and out. Shows very well. It does have the snow plow and salt spreader included. We've got an aluminum fuel tank on this side. Truck runs and drives well. It has a Jasper Reman turbo. When we got it in, the turbo was acting a little funky, so we went ahead and replaced the turbo with a factory Reman from Jasper. But taking a look at the truck, it's in good shape. It's got some dings, dents, bumps and scratches here and there, but overall a, a solid work truck and a truck that's ready to go to work as it is. We'll go ahead and jump inside and start her up. The interior's in nice shape. The seat bottom does have a little tear. If the sun gets out of our eyes, we can see it. The seat bottom has a little bit of wear and tear on it. And the driver's seat there. And this is a crew cab, a very spacious cab on these internationals. Got our Dickie John system, and that is our dump body controls, but we'll go ahead and start her up. It's got 82,117 miles at the time of this video. This truck is optioned with heat and air conditioning. We'll scroll through for the hours. It's showing 70, 7,600 hours, a little over 7,600 hours on it. Truck runs and drives well. It has good power, no lights on the dash. Motor sounds healthy. And overall, it's a truck that you can hop in and go to work. Interior's in nice shape. Back seat's in good shape. Again, very roomy back there. We'll go ahead and dump the body here. See it going up. does have a hoist release so it's kind of hard to do with one hand but we'll get it there it goes but nonetheless the truck does what it's supposed to do we'll jump outside it does have power windows door locks looking back here we've got our salt spreader spinner in the back seat here in the back area but the back bench seat's in really nice shape again the interior showing the floor is a nice black color but showing a little bit of wear but overall, super nice inside. It is missing the battery cover down here. But you can see the dump body functions as it should. The plow is in the back there. That is all untested. We have not actually hooked it up to the truck and tested it out, but it does come with it, the salt spreader and the snow plow. Looks like it's in good shape. But looking at this thing, again, there it was a plow truck, so it does have some surface rust. All the tires look like they're in good shape. But again, you'll notice a little scaling, a little flaking. It looks like they have painted over it over the years to try to maintain it and keep it in good shape. But it is showing. You see the voice is in good shape. There's no major leaks. Now obviously the dump body's in good shape. It's stainless, no reason to worry about rust. This, but the subframe's really nice. Little surface rust, a little bubbling, but it is a plow truck. I'm not gonna say it again. It is a plow truck. But everything functions as it should. It does have a rear panel hitch here. It does have a seven-way plug. As shown, all the lights on this truck work. Ready to go down the road. And it's a pretty clean and presentable truck. We've had a few of these in the past. They've been all pretty decent trucks for us and all relatively low mileage at 82,000 miles those miles are correct and most of the time these trucks were spent on the side of the road just doing odd and end jobs not really worked too hard I would say and they've been maintained pretty well from what we can tell but again all the tires are in nice shape you see the frame down there about what you'd expect. That little storage 
compartment up top. It's like uh, some type of brine system that they use for the roads, but uh, nonetheless, it's a truck. Again, you can hop in and go to work with this thing. You can plow snow in the winter, haul dirt in the summer. Good trucks. It is a crew cab, very spacious crew cab. Well, looking down the side of this thing, you got some dings, uh, some small dents, but overall, a really straight truck, really solid air tank there. It's just a really solid truck. The motor sounds healthy. It's got plenty of power. Good track. Got our plow mount on here so you can just hook up the plow and go. Again, that plow is untested. Now, I've had a couple people ask if you can remove this bumper the way it's pushed out. You cannot because the PTO is sitting right there. So unless you had something to uh, relocate that PTO, you're going to have to keep that bumper the way it is. It's just how these trucks respect. Something you can get used to. What a sharp truck. It's in their notorious yellow color from the state highway. Again, they are the only owner. We purchased it directly from them, so it's been maintained and serviced. And again, we've had plenty of these trucks. Generally speaking, they all are great trucks, run and drive well, and this one's no exception. But at 82,000 original miles, this one's just getting started. You can check this truck out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this truck throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located just outside of Baltimore, Maryland in Clarksville, Maryland. If you have any questions on this truck or any other trucks I have for sale, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to help you. Thank you guys for watching.